Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here, and today we're looking at an M4 that controls recoil like an MDR, but gives you that sweet 800 RPM fire rate and the low time to kill that comes with it. Before we continue, today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, with something a little bit different. When I was getting married, I was looking for a wedding band that was sleek and minimalist, but when I visited the traditional jewelers, it was actually very difficult to find something that I wanted. So introducing the Ridge Ring, as well as the wallets and key cases that we're normally looking at, Ridge also have their series of men's rings for either sleek and elegant style or a wedding band if that's what you're looking for. I have the burnt titanium version to show you here but a number of the classic Ridge styles from the wallets are available here too and they all look super cool. Ridge also have a new selection of silicon rings as well with a few different designs for when you're active and don't feel like wearing one of the regular ones. Now I know that rings aren't for everybody and that's completely fair enough but one of the best things about the Ridge rings is that you can get two future exchanges in a different size of the same style just in case your hands change for example if you slim down or if you get completely stacked in the gym. As usual, you can get the best offer using my link ridge.com forward slash gigaridge and the code gigaridge at the checkout to save 10% on your order and benefit from Ridge's lifetime warranty. The 99 day test drive applies here too as a risk free trial, so if things don't work out, you can always get your money back. So visit ridge.com forward slash gigaridge for products meant to last a lifetime. So it might not surprise you that we're going to use the LVOA mechanic barter as the basis for this build because it's one of the only ways to make a sub 40 recall M4 at a decent cost. But of course, this means that you need to be level 30 to access it at mechanic 3. If you're not quite there yet, but still want something faster firing than an MDR or a SCAR, I suggest checking out my level 2 trader M4 build video that uses the SOP mod barter instead as a base, which is still pretty good for mechanic 2 or using the G36C from Peacekeeper for the time being. What makes the LVOA barter great is that firstly you can buy as many as you like at a decent price as GP coins tend to sit between 25 and 30 so taking four of them it's 100k to 120k overall and secondly some of the parts are really good. If we inspect the build we get a standard length 370mm bowel which is well rounded for modding and the LVOA C handguard which is high ergonomics at plus 10 but comes with 2% recoil reduction and this costs around 35k if you were to buy it from the trader yourself. But most importantly, the Ultor upper is much better than the standard M4 version with 4% recoil reduction versus 1% on the regular one and 8 ergonomics rather than 5. This part costs about 40k on the trader and is locked behind the guide, but here we get it as part of the barter. One other piece that is a nice to have is the Raptor charging handle, usually costing 9k from Mechanic 4 and gives plus 3 ergonomics whereas the standard one gives none at all. Buying the LVOA basically lets us reach up into tier 4 traders without having to actually be that level to access the parts, pay the price that the traders demand, or do the quests to get access. Pretty neat. I've not said anything about the stock and tube that it comes with because it's pretty bad, so you can sell this back to Jaeger for 6k and buy something better. Until you can get access to the butt pad for the MOE Carbine stock series, it's still better overall to add an ATP tube and Christophiance DS150 from Skier 2. However, if you want to get fancy, we can actually use the SOP mod barter to get this part instead. Two pro kills often cost around 132k and removing the stock allows us to sell back the rest of the gun for 123k, meaning it costs us 9,000 rubles, which is a bargain. As an additional pro tip, this allows you to get an Elkan for 21k as well, rather than paying at least double that on the flea market too if you like that scope. Back to the gun, let's just use the DS150 for the moment as it's the most consistent and doesn't rely on flea market pricing. From here, if you want the cheapest least hassle build, you can add whichever NT4 suppressor is the lowest on the flea and an RVG black foregrip. This costs an average of 110 for the base M4, 5k for the ATP tube, 10 for the DS150, 10 for the RVG and 25-ish for the suppressor, all coming to 59 ergo and 41 recoil on our first pass. In total, this is 160k, or if you do the SOP mod trick, it actually becomes 5k cheaper with one better ergo and one less recoil. Comparing this initial stage to the MDR, we can see that although we have 41 recoil on the M4 versus the MDR's 52, we don't quite beat the controllable recoil that the MDR offers due to the rate of fire. Do note though that the MDR can't really get any better than this, as our M4s scale far better as more money is spent on them. At this stage, the most impactful part to improve is the suppressor. The NT4 is quite weak on the overall spectrum of recoil reduction, and it's here that we can make the biggest improvement. Looking at the top 5 brake and suppressor combos for recoil reduction, the Seika 
ASR and the M4SD are the two meta versions, with the Seika best for recall at minus 23% and the M4SD best all around, with minus 22.5% but with 4 more ergo. These both tend to be very expensive at over 70k each, but some of the others are much more affordable. The Thor PSR is usually about 40k and is just as good as the Seika on recoil, but it has 5 less ergonomics. However, I think this is fair enough for a 30k discount, and this comes to 52 ergo and 35 recoil on our current build, which is getting pretty good. Unfortunately, the PSR muzzle is Skier 4, so the next best is the AAC Blackout 51T, which can be bought from Peacekeeper 3, plus the SDN6 suppressor over the top. This is one recoil point worse than the Thor, but it gives us 2 ergo back and is also usually about 45k, and this takes our build to 54 ergonomics and 36 recoil. Finally, we have the Thunder Beast Ultra 5, for which the muzzle can be bought from Peacekeeper 3, and the suppressor which can be bartered with Skier 3 using a Tagilla cap and 2 leather caps, or just bought from the Flea for around 40. This is another half point worse for recoil, but we gain another 2 ergo plus the often overlooked benefit, which is that the Thunder Beast is about half a kilogram lighter than pretty much all the other suppressors. This one then comes to 56 ergonomics and 37 recoil, all firmly under the 40 recoil threshold, which was what we were kind of looking for. Any one of these suppressors will do, so just get the one that is cheapest at the time and fits with the traders that you have available. Looping back to our test, using the SDN suppressor, we can now see that with 36 recoil, we've matched the MDR's recoil level but kept our 800 RPM of the M4. Any improvements to the weapon at this point will start to surpass it, and given these builds are bang for buck level 3 trader access, there are a few more things that we can do in theory without dramatically changing the build as we progress. But where we're at now typically costs an extra 25k over the base version we built at the start, i.e. 100 85,000 and gets to a pretty good recall level for use in raid. In terms of these further additions, some of them require level 4 traders, but firstly, for 4 more ergo, we can buy the front and back Chris Iron Sights from Skier 2, which gives 1 ergo each for 6k combined, as well as upgrading the pistol grip to the F1 skeletonized style 1 for 9k, which gives 2 more. At Peacekeeper 4, we can upgrade to the Growl instead, which does cost about 25k, but it gives us 6 more ergo than the OMRG, so is the classic grip for endgame builds. Finally, once you reach Mechanic 4, the Advanced Tube for 12k instead of the ATP is a nice upgrade giving 2 more ergo and 1.5 more recoil, but this does start to get pretty expensive overall with all of these parts coming to something like 230k. With the Thor, this gets us to 63 ergo and 32 recoil though, so it is pretty good, but this is also without buying any optics, lasers or mags. So next up, let's check out a few raids to see how various M4s performed. The only like relatively nice thing about being over that side and leaving out of this side is that you can come and just like loot everything over in this, uh, this area of the map and because you're like right next to the extract it's like slightly better although we probably don't want to stay for too long oh no I dropped a magazine oh. There's the crackers. I got... I got crackers. Where did we drop that? There. Just like get straight into it. I don't, I don't know if it really makes any difference either way to be honest. Where was the other one? Was he in the bush? Maybe he was up on the train, yeah, maybe. It sounded to my left. Oh, he's actually a player. Hmm. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there's somebody up here. No, I don't think he is the same guy. Hmm. 
I think I think they they may be with PMCs. I didn't check the first guy actually. They were PMCs playing like funny clown face mode. <laughs> Back this way we go. The hell? like somebody in there. Oh my god. Come on, whoever's wandering down there. No, 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 no. No scavs. No scav kills. No scav killing. Now we just have to make it past the rustling shack. <laughs> and then we can be out in the clear. Oh my word. The thing is, we survive this. Uh, we sorry, we complete the quest regardless of whether we survive or not. Is that that's a player, right? That is ultimate. This is this is the same guy we've been trying to like figure out where he is for ages. This is like that's ultimate ratting. This man is getting stripped of everything he owns. I'm sorry, even if you're at low level, you don't, you, no, no insurance for you, boy. I make exceptions to my under 15 rule for certain. Uh, <laughs> he probably tried to get into the truck. <laughs> probably. I've never seen somebody sit there. Right, we heard the guy on the way through, and then we fought him on the way back. That's pretty funny. Oh. Wait, where are they? I can't get up this ridge. I, I can't get up this ridge. That's so annoying. I'm done. Need to reload badly. All right, where's Mr. Tower? Hello. Thank you. A black rook and a oh, looks cool. What is this thing? Ninety-two ergo and forty-five recoil. Holy moly, this thing looks sick as well. Look at the vibes on this thing. Yeah, five five eight one. No mag. Okay, we'll put the mag in. Right, Looks good. Thirty-five ping. So I'm a skied out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Off tower goes. So we have to go to Iron Gate. We're quite late, aren't we? All right. Let's just set our stuff. Oh, it sure is snappy. Wow. Feel that. Look at that. I think high ergo is sometimes underrated. Four kilos, eighty-nine ergonomics, and forty-four vertical recoil. This thing is disgusting in terms of how speedy it is on ADS. The legendary boonie hat man, it was. He gifted us with a beautiful M4. <laughs> it was a smidge expensive. Tower's just gone, you know. Oh, Bitcoin. Tasty. You have to keep your eyes peeled in these rooms.
What if that counts? I think I think we killed him. Yeah, he's there. Nice build. Nice build. Wowza. Man's got some guns. Stocking up on M4s for the video. Got lots of M4s to choose from now. Should inspect and rate their builds. It was just this guy, but he was like absolutely kitted. Yeah, so there's that. So that's Tower's build. Then we've got this guy. What's this one? So this thing is 57 ergonomics, 67 vertical recoil. So I don't really like this one that much. This one has been pieced together looking, looks like for style. Oh, I know why. It's because the, um, it's because the muzzle's missing. That's why. This one should look like this. I took the war comp off it, I think. I think this is this one. I think that's what it looked like before. That's the reason why it's kind of scuffed. So this one's actually 46. So 39 and 46. I think this is this. This is, uh, yeah, this is like, um, what have we got? Standard upper, a growl. This is like a, a sort of a very sort of like standard M4. Although there's, there's some issues with it. Like the, the canted, I think this is kind of overkill. I don't think this is really necessary. For the RVG, you get like five ergonomics for one recoil. I think that's a good trade-off. Um, and this thing costs a ton any, as well. I don't see the point in using the Mo unless you're going to use the butt pad on the back. So if you're just if you've just got the Mo on its own and you don't have the the ability to buy the butt pad, then you should probably just go for the DS150, which is cheaper and gives you one more ago and two less recoil because it's it's only worse if you have the pad on. So that's that's how I change this one. The hand guard is not so bad. I don't think it gives you any. I just give you one recoil. Okay, it's not it's not too bad. What length barrel is this? Is this regular? Yeah. I still, like, you're probably better. If you bought this, you would have bought this guy. This thing is 20K. 20K. Okay, well, I think that's too much because you can go for the LVOAC, uh, which is 2% and 10, as opposed to this guy, which is 1% one, uh, 1 and 10. And the LVOAC, I know it's on the LVOA build, but um, I guess it depends whether you have Peacekeeper or not. That's why it's so much here. It's only a bit more. I guess that's like another 7K or something. But the one recall, you know, maybe it's maybe it is all right. Maybe the handguard's fine. Handguard's actually probably the least important thing of an M4. Then we have this bandit. This baby is much closer to meta. ARE plus plus PRS Gen three. It doesn't have a foregrip, and I'm not sure why, because that's the thing that would make this good. Did that get taken off? Did someone take the foregrip off this? It sort of looks like it, because this is a um, this is a min recall M4. It looks like someone removed the foregrip. I, you wouldn't build this gun without that. Like 20 inch barrel, Raptor, Mur upper, Seika suppressor. This thing's min recoil. Like if you if you put this on, you, if you put the RK2 on here, that's min, that's 23. That is the lowest recoil you can be. So it doesn't make sense to build this otherwise. Probably got back from insurance and accidentally forgot to run it without a foregrip. Maybe. Man was still trying to ADS while beef was halfway done with a magazine and a biscuit. <laughs> it does feel like that, right? That's definitely how it went. So as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons and as always, have fun in your raids.